Hey, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport, ScooterWest.com. Got a new headlight upgrade that fits most of the Vespas here. Um, everybody's been asking about the LEDs. I mean, you pretty much see every new car that comes out rolling off the showroom floor. Now it has LED headlights. You got the new Vespa 946, has a nice LED headlight, you know, factory. Uh, unfortunately, you got the high-end high scooters like the GTS, the Sprint, they don't come with a factory uh, LED headlight. So we found the perfect retrofit kit that uh, replaces the stock H4 halogen bulb found on most modern Vespas. Uh, real simple plug and play installation. Uh, we've been testing LEDs for, I don't know, probably the last year and a half. I've tried so many different LED kits. Majority of them, they just don't fit. You know, there's lots of options out there to be found elsewhere, but I just find out they just don't fit. There's no room in the headlight housing for many of the LED kits, as many of them use um, a mechanical fan to cool the LEDs. Uh, sometimes the ballast is too large. Many of them, the, the, the patterned H4 mounting, whatever you want to call it, the base of that bulb, it's made of plastics, too thick and ends up being much too hard to um, install in the, the headlight reflector. And even many of them, they've just been downright poor quality. I'm talking, use it for a week and I find out, oh, burned out or lost the low beam. I'm like, well, that's no good. Not a product we want to sell. I've uh, been testing this one for quite a long time on some of our own personal bikes. It's worked out quite well. It's passively cooled. I'll take it out of the bag, kind of show you. The whole idea is, is it's cooled with um, these copper braids right here. So the heat is conducted through the aluminum body of this bulb and the heat's dissipated through these um, aluminum braids. Nice thing is they don't take up much space in what little space you got in the headlight. I run them for several hours, make sure the temperature of the LED was no issues there. And this happened to be the one that's the easiest to install. And one thing is I modified this uh, base here to, this is the stock uh, retaining clip and it's been specially modified to work for pretty much all the Vespas. So the big benefit of the LEDs is they run cooler and they have that cool white uh, look to them. While a halogen or incandescent bulbs kind of got a real warm appearance to it. It's, it's kind of the, you know, gives, it, gives the scooter quite a modern appearance by having the nice LED look. It's definitely a little brighter. You can see the two chip on board style LEDs. They're staggered and on each side of the, um, of this little die right here, whatever you want to call it thimble um, and it kind of closely mimics the, uh, the spread of what the regular incandescent. So, so what I found this one has quite a nice um, low beam to it, has a nice cutoff, which is a good thing. You don't really want to be glaring oncoming traffic when you're putting a non-standard style bulb like this in your scooter. So one thing with the HIDs, they were quite bright, but I found many of them were quite glaring, you know, in these uh, traditional style uh, reflectors. And these tend to work a little bit better with uh, Vespa reflectors. Here I got a Vespa Sprint, and it's pretty much identical to the installation on a Primavera. And we'll go ahead and jump to the installation. So I'm gonna leave the mirrors in place, pop the two little rubbers up, there's gonna be four screws you need to access. If you watch some of my other videos, I've had this, the ha handlebars apart for other products that we've come up. I have just a standard number two Phillips. Got the long screw, so that's the longest screw. And then there's another hole that's a little bit more in front. You can see this does not have the turn signals on it because we put the, um, the kit 
that eliminates the US style turn signals on it. This screw is like kind of a medium sized screw. Then on this side, repeat, pretty much same thing. Medium screw. This, there we go. Long screw. I mean, you could take the bezel off. There's two screws underneath here that, that retain it. I found that you could oftentimes just carefully pop the front of the bezel off. As what I'm doing is I'm lifting, I'm pushing down the plastic on the, the front of the headlight and lifting the bezel with my fingers here. So you see I kind of separated it right there. It has two little tabs. So I was pushing down on the, the plastic here and using my fingers to pull it up. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can go ahead and remove the two front screws and just pull the bezel off. And to get the, uh, the handlebar covers off, there's gonna be snap fasteners in the corners of the handlebars. I can see this, see this perch right here is actually not quite in the right spot. I'm gonna adjust that while we have it apart. See, I just moved it. It means the perch needs to be tightened a little bit. This isn't a new scooter, this is a used bike. So, carefully prying that up. Got that side, get your fingers underneath this. And now you pretty much have access to the the underside of the scooter. Get your hands in there. And right there is a connector for your, um, the speedometer. And on the side of it, I'll kind of show you once I got it disconnected, there's a tab you got to push. That's how you disconnect the connector. So I pulled the handlebars up and you could see the single connector that, that uh, connects to the speedometer. Two things you can do, you can either disconnect it by pushing this little tab right here, you know, to pull the connector off. Or if you want, you could carefully set the, uh, the handlebars and rest them off to the side. And I'm just gonna do that because I'm just going in here to change out the headlight, pretty simple. And from the back, identical to the Primavera, there's gonna be a single connection to the headlight. Pull that off, you can pull the rubber off. This keeps the moisture out of the headlight assembly. Not really needed, like I suggested in the um, GTS. You can reinstall if you like. Disconnect the ring counterclockwise. Go ahead and slide the LED right in. There's the flat, the flat section goes at the bottom. And it's just tilt it ever so slightly on this sprint, is what I found. Uh, let's see if I can get it, there we go. There we go. So you wanna make sure it's popped in place. Then go ahead and get the ring back in place. You can see those two little tabs just line right up. Again, if you gotta get your fingers in there to help, help the tabs, but those snap right in. No problem right there. You got a single connection to make. Make sure that's all the way in place. There's enough room to kind of tuck the LED ballast and the headlight connector down at the bottom. And if you wish, you can zip tie those in place. Take the copper braids. and kind of spread them out. Nice thing about the speedometer on this model is quite flat. Now we can carefully take the speedometer or the headset handlebar top and snap it back into place. Since the perch was a little loose, I got this centered with um, the little opening for the thing. There's a single five millimeter Allen and I have a ball ended Allen. 
I'm gonna go in there and just snug that tight. So now the lever perch won't come loose. And I found pretty much on any of the um, scooters that have a rear drum brake, which is all the 50 models, uh, 150 models, 125 models, uh, sometimes that tends to want to come loose. And something we'll do if we're in, in the handlebars, buttoning, you know, checking things out, changing the brake fluid, whatever we're doing in there, putting a headlight bulb, just something to, to keep in mind. And so go ahead and snap this all back into place. Got the headlight rim, make sure the seam's all good. Snap that back into place. We put the screws, we can test it before we get too far. See, there's your low beam and your high beam. You can flash on this model. Definitely gives a nice modern appearance and matches the, um, the color temperature of the running lights on this model quite well. Again, this one's got the, um, the Euro turn signal kit in it. Now that we know it's working, go ahead and install the, the longer screws in the back and the medium length screws towards the front. And slide the little rubber doohickeys down and you're done.